So let's see uh, the software and the ever overview of the user interface. So essentially, when you are creating your project, you usually will have particle tracks and virtual microphone. So essentially, for any project, you need at least one particle group or similar and one virtual microphone to capture the sound of this particle group. So essentially, you have all of a time editor over here. You can see in here what is happening uh, currently. Uh, so you have all of this information over here. So essentially, the workflow is you start by saying, OK, how many particles do you want? You could say 110 particles for for thousand particles, whatever. You, then you're going to say, which audio files do you want to use to uh, to be distributed among particles because each particle will reproduce audio from one of these original audio files that you add, which means that if you have one only one audio file, like in this case, all particles will reproduce exactly the same audio file. If you have several files in here, each particle will randomly select one of the available audio files. Also, you can specify what is the, the start position if you want them to start on, on a box or eventually on a torus or a, a, a surface of a sphere or something like that. So you can eventually uh, say where the particles are being created. Uh, also, you can specify the movements because eventually you could say, okay, I want particles to have some, some random uh, velocities so you can simply add this and at particles moving uh, around uh, and also there is the concept of audio modifiers because most of the times you don't want all particles to reproduce exactly the same audio stream so you can have some audio modifiers and could do things like random gains add some delays add some random filters to make sure that it's each particle will have a different random uh, random uh, frequency response you could add use granular synthesis, you can use pitch and time and pitch shifting. So essentially there is a lot of things that you can do to have a much more interesting uh, uh, sounding particles. Uh, and also you have the virtual microphone that is will be located at some point in this space and will be responsible for capturing the sound of all the particles. So you can have things like a stereo or a multi-channel 5.1 or even uh, immersive formats like Haru and Dolby Atmos or things like that. So essentially you can do all of these things and then essentially when you do all of this you simply press render and then this will render the audio file because this could not be done in real time at least for for big uh, with a huge number of particles so you simply press render and then the system will start to render all the entire scene and it's going to uh, you're going to see the waveforms appearing over here and you can start to listen to the sound that you are getting to with your and eventually you can then later on export this as an audio file to to make sure that you use this on pro tools or whatever uh, software that you are using so this is more or less the overview in here you have some 3D views that give you information about, uh, I'm going to cancel, cancel the render. So you have this 3D view over here that gives you information about what is happening in terms of the particles, in terms of space. So you, you have a better overview of what, what is happening. Of course, you have the, the time editor in here that you can uh, use to see uh, better information about the particles that you are using, the virtual microphone, all of them. Okay, eventually you can use add different particles, could add additional microphones, add some video reference because you have some video file that you want to to make sure that the audio is synced with video or something like that. So there is this is a generic overview about the software. And now you can see other videos with additional information about each one of these features.